stop. You know, honestly, just getting out of the hometown and just stomping some new grounds is just really, really great. Uh, there were a few kids there and uh, we definitely played with them, hooked them up with some good freebies and stuff and you know, just spread the Kandama love. It's cool. It's cool working like a, it's awesome knowing that at the end of the day, like what I do, like me prepping condoms and like making them look nice will like affect people. Yeah, like, it. you know I mean, what I mean? Like yeah, absolutely. I mean, I make sure that like, or at least to the best of my ability, of course, like sometimes we miss something. You know what I mean? Like every now and then it happens. Or like, we think a condom is okay and then it wears and it becomes a long spike, you know? Yeah. but. Most of the time, like, we try to make sure that everything stays perfect, you know? Style. We be born like this all the time, you know. 
got the shower. Oh, slide out. So what, this one's mine? really awesome to see the the group in Fort Collins. I was pretty stoked to see me. Like I was I was kind of shocked and blown away by that. Like, you know, just yeah, the, this, yeah I get, got out and it was like, oh Chris Boss. I was like, wait what? And why why me? Like he was like these guys. That's that's me. Like I'm like these guys hundred in like I'm like still in that little kid stage <laughs> with them. Oh, we were just chilling here. RV just rolled up. We got a nice little Dama squad over here about to meet the pros. It's gonna be a good day. What are
We stopped by the uh, the toy shop. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. yeah. And those the owners were just so nice, and yeah. I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of time here in Bozeman. Not bad at all. Can't complain. It was, it was fun to hop in the bear suit and get some tricks and like stoke some kids. It was it was a good time, but that the Bozeman stuff was cool. I really like the feel of this place. One of my favorite places to film was probably Big Sky in Montana. The resort up there in the, the mountain was just really beautiful. It was awesome to see. They had like their own little villa in the mountain with all these nice buildings and like just awesome scenery obviously here in Montana.
Finally. Holy shit. Dude. This kid. Did you hear everyone down? <laughs>
guy tapped it off sketchy. So get the thousand in, they're all packaged, we're like sweet. And like Some take one out, look at it, and I'm like, wait a minute, this this is kind of fucked. And then I start looking at <laughs> all of them and I realize that like, you know, like one in ten or two in ten is fucked. So I'm like, well, damn it, now we have to look at all of them. And basically that's what we've been doing since day one. What's up, Hunter? You know, got the uh, JKA box right here. Yeah, where are we at? If I don't drop it, we're at Fig Pickles. About to do a little exhibition event here. It's gonna be crazy. Expecting a lot of people, we'll see how it goes. Nice. It's gonna be nuts. Just did a little bit of a kendama 
demonstration, made a few sales over here at Big Pickles. And now we're gonna go get some footy, hang out with the kids for a little more, and then on to Spoke Town. Don't motivate me, Bond. Nah. Dan Robinson. Nice, I won. Oh yeah.
Good grind. Good grind. Oh yeah, dude, it was good. It was real good. Oh man. Featured.
Down spike, you're up! But he did it, so you bleed.
Yo, check out this dirty sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, it's just so great to see that the positive vibe of Kendama translates to different states and different communities. And it's good that that's kind of like a mutual theme that no matter where you go, there's going to be positivity with Kendama. Yeah, for sure. And that's huge. And I think one of the big reasons why we're doing this tour. Yeah, absolutely.